are you? What? What the hell is going on? Why do I have an extra head? What the? What's going on? Shut up, Richie. <sighs> Sorry about her. She uh, gets uh, confusing at some points. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, for no proper introduction. Uh, I'm a nanoskeleton, and I don't really actually have a name. And this is Toy Foxy. But, since I'm basically, basically attached to her, we are the Mangle. Mangle? Huh. Well, my name's Nightmare Mangle, so you kind of have the same, similar name to me. Ah, like, uh, Toy Freddy... And Nightmare Freddy, yeah, all those, yeah, I get it. Wait, Toy Freddy, okay, first of all, what the hell is going on here? Oh yeah, guess it really hasn't really been introduced that well, but... Uh, if, you rem if you aren't really aware, which you should be, you got kidnapped by our government. Same thing for us. Wait, our government? Wait, what? Oh, wh why, though? <sighs> well... They never really told me, never told us. It's confusing. Huh, well, why do I have this extra head on me and it? Why, why is it like similar to your body? Uh, well, you see, I feel like they're testing us for something. The government are testing us for something big. And so they tore Toy Foxy apart and they didn't know how to replace her voice box, her original one. So, I got her voice box instead, and now I'm the only one that could speak, because if she tries, then... Yeah, you see the point. Well, why do I have a head, then? Yeah, that's just the backup. You see, usually... Usually, for us mangled, you know, shriveled machines, usually our extra heads just is a backup source for communication. Communication to others. So, your head right there, it can't speak, but it can if your voice box somehow gets damaged from your original body. Huh, I guess that makes sense, but where, where even are we? We're in the storage room, where all the bits and pieces of other poor souls have come to suffer. Yeah, these ears and eyes that you see on the floor, they're real. And they belong to some people, but they aren't here. Whoa. What kind of sick, twisted... What kind of sick, sick twisted person would do this? <sighs> Only if I would know. They ever... Before... Before Toy Foxy really got knocked out, she only saw one other person. And it was this guy that looked like a bird. I think that's our captain or leader of the government. Yeah, that's what she suspected too. Oh, I think he's waking up. Wait, who's waking up? Uh, uh, I'm still here. Hey, Mike, wait, what, what? Nightmare Mangle? What? It, Yendo? Huh? Wait, you guys know each other? Yeah, we're friends. And wait, Yendo, you're you don't have a suit. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, this is basically what I look like without my suit, and this is my endoskeleton. The government took it. Oh, well, you can see what the government also did to me. Yeah, jeez, you, you look awful. Hey, no offense. Well, yeah, I, I don't even know what happened. I mean, the only thing I really remember is just, you know, try, like, you know, getting stuck up on, and I got attacked, and I saw this bird, and... And it's probably our leader of our government, and it is. That's Captain Hawk. Probably don't know his name, but yeah, you do now. Basically, he's planning something big. Something that nothing, no normal government would do. And I knew because I was actually here first. He, you were? Yeah, he was. I only came in later, and... He's basically experienced what's been happening to him and others. What I can really say about myself is that it was all normal until they found me. 
and they took me. <sighs> it's strange because I'm a god for crying out loud. I mean, I could have suspected that at least, at least ahead of time, but I don't know. It just felt, felt too quick. I kind of felt the same thing when I got unconscious. Same could be said for me. But as long as I've, you know, heard, at least from Yendo, we're, we're probably gonna be here for a while. Yeah, for who knows how long. But wait, Yendo, when did you even get in here? About two weeks ago. And, and uh, Mangle came in at least one week after. Look, long story short, I don't I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. My suit is the only way I'm able to use my powers, and without it, I'm just a useless, powerless endoskeleton. Well, there has to be some way. I mean I mean, Mangle, look at you and me. I mean, we're basically amalgamations that can that look pretty destructive, don't we? <sighs> I don't know. I mean I never really tried because <sighs> Because in Yendo's case it's never really worked out. Well, yeah, but Remember, look, look at me and you. We're different from everyone else. And maybe that's a good thing. <sighs> really? <sighs> because half the reason why I'm still here, why we're still here, is mainly you know, because we don't know what the world will accept us. We don't know what the world will accept Mankel. Wait, is that so? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't just go out on the streets every day and just see us. Well, I don't know if you've been, uh, you know, traveling or if you've been to the outside world, like, ever, but here in Fazbear Hills, everyone's different. I mean, there's literally, there's literally, like, twisted creatures and big giant enemy spiders. Like, like, nobody is perfect, and I don't know why you feel like it, if you even go out there, you're not gonna fit in, because, because let's be honest, anyone can fit in here, even you. Yendo has a point, so just come on, let's at least try. <sighs> I don't know. And even if I wanted to get out of here, I don't know the best way, and I don't even know how. Ah, uh, look who's awake. Oh, what? Oh, wait, you're the government baddies that work for Captain Hawk, aren't you? Oh, yeah, someone's figured it out. <sighs> okay, what do you guys want? Well, you see, since we have a new mangle here, we're gonna have to run some tests on it. What? Test? What test? Oh, don't worry. They won't hurt that much. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, don't don't hurt her, alright? I'm sorry. Am I the prisoner or are you? Oh, so you admit this is like a prison? It's not a prison. It's just containment, alright? And shut up. Let me do this fast. Hey, hey, I'm telling you, get away. I'm not afraid to fight. Even if you do, this thing can hurt you like hell, so don't even try. But wait, what are you even going to do with that? Don't worry, there's options on here. Now, don't move. <sighs> Alright, it's set. Now, it's only going to last for ten seconds. You might start to feel a little bit of a sting, but the pain will end. <laughs> Quit struggling. It'll take longer, and it'll be more painful. <sighs> God, that's starting to hurt. Please stop. I've done this only take 10 seconds. It's taking longer because you're moving. Stop moving. No. No more. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no! Mangle! Oh, you damn dirty b- Guys! You already saw what happened. Do you want it to happen to you too? You're already going through enough pain. You want to go through even more? I'll bite your head off, I swear to God! Don't even think about it. Uh, uh, that's a good girl. Now. Okay. Bring color away, Foxy. Get them out of the way. Make sure they're not interfering this time. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Look, oh, oh, come on. All right, let's try this again. Please stop doing this. Sorry, it's just me following my orders. All right, now don't move. It'll hurt less. What? What the? <laughs> What the hell? Huh? Wait, what the? G Golden Freddy? I'm not Golden Freddy. Follow me. We best get out of here before they wake up. What? What? Uh, okay. All right. Here we go, I guess. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, okay, we should be good here for now. Okay, uh, okay, please, please slow down. Uh, it's kind of hard to walk in this new body. Uh, Sam haven't really been walking that much. Uh, uh, okay, we really need an explanation. Yeah, I mean, you say you're not going Freddy, but so who are you? Look, we can't do introductions right now. Look, we just gotta lay low for a little bit, because uh, security, security guards could be anywhere. It could be right around the corner. You don't know. You're right, I don't know, because this is basically my first time being in a, um, how do I put this, uh, oh yeah, a local government base. Okay, get out of my ear for a sec, alright? Look, until I know it, when it's clear, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back to my room, alright? We're, our room, you'll see. What, our room? Who's our? Is he talking about us? I don't know if he's talking about us. What do you, what do you mean by our? Shut up for one second. I think it's okay. Follow me. Jesus. Oh, more running. Um. Okay. Uh, okay, that's okay. And all right, he's gonna probably could take a little while for him to actually update. Yeah, I mean, this guy is definitely a piece of work. But when are they gonna get back? Look, they're gonna get back soon. All right, just be patient. Uh, I'm back. Ah. Uh, Cassidy, you're here. Yes, I'm here. And I brought what you re kind of requested. Uh, oh. Oh. Hmm. This is an interesting bash. Uh, okay. Well, hello everyone. You might kind of know me. Yeah, you're a uh, Chocolate Bonnie and Candy Freddy. Yeah, I'm here. And I would also like you to meet our little helper, Cassidy. I'm not really a helper. I'm just here to help. Okay, I guess I am a helper. But look, it's not the main point right now. <sighs> look, I realized, we realized what's going on here. And it isn't right. And I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that the second you woke up. Is that right? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you see the state we're in? Yes. <sighs> look, we have a plan. A plan to just shut this whole operation down. But we... That we can't do it alone. They can't do it alone. That's why I came. And one of the steps to stop this is to make sure this guy actually wakes up. Well, I, for your information, he's not just like a normal robot that actually can, you know, just move and, you know, feel all that. He's not, he's not like that. He's very different. As he was created with both organic and robotic life and neither of those are able to have him function, so that's why he's like this. So it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, and we literally just plugged all this stuff into him, so chances are it'll probably uh, approximately take at least uh, a day and uh, three hours. Oh, a day and three hours? So we're gonna have to stay in here for a day and three hours? Yeah, pretty much. Well, you guys should probably lay low in this little room. And I know it's not that much room, but it's all we got. It's the only really safe, it's really only the safe place that we have. And according to what I've heard, God, Captain Hawk has already sent the working, the working project Cyborg Bunny. Wait, what? You didn't tell us that. Yeah, I mean, wait, he, he's like, like Project Cyborg Bunny is done and it, it's working. Yes. And from what I've heard, it's already on a way to, to one of your friends. Foxy. No, 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 no. We can't let this happen. I know, but as of now, we can't really do anything. 
we're just gonna have to rely on them stopping Project Cyborg Bunny first. Because as of now, we don't have much. Yeah, neither do we. And we're just, and you know, we're working for the captain. I mean, we should have everything, but fortunately for something like this, we do not, because we're kind of undercover. Yeah, uh, but we still need to, I mean, sort it out. We need to still sort this out, right? Like, we don't really have anything fully planned out or just, you know, we haven't really spoken about anything, have we? I don't know what you mean by this. I mean, like, like, do we, are we, do we have any other resources? Like, do we have any other help besides just these guys? I mean, sure, d these could be, these guys could be great use, but still, what can we do? What can we do if, if they find out? Don't worry. I have some people that I know, and they're kind of on the same operation as us. Oh, really? Who? I can't say their names, because it's kind of a private thing. And who knows? Even, look, even if all this is going on, we don't know if they're still listening or watching. Okay. Yeah. Whispering definitely won't help now, so just forget it. Look, I'm just gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna make sure nobody suspects anything. No alerts go off. And even if alerts go off, hide somewhere in this room, like under these cushions or something. Just do something to protect yourselves. I'll be back. It's always so creepy when he does it. Yeah. So, Yendo, I heard some things about you. Yeah, I was a powerful god, and now I'm just an endoskeleton. Yeah. But don't worry. Everything will work out. We just need the original Project Cyber Bunny to awaken.